Russia's defense ministry says the first flight recorder from the area of the Black Sea where one of its military planes crashed on Sunday has been found. A massive search operation has been continuing overnight for the bodies of the 92 victims, 11 of which have been found so far. Sophia Tran-Thompson reports. Day and night, search and rescue teams have not stopped on their mission to find the Russian military plane, which disappeared from air traffic radars on Christmas morning. Planes, helicopters, submersibles, around 40 ships and more than 3,000 people, including 200 divers, are involved in the search. The plane disappeared from radar two minutes after taking off from Sochi's Adler Airport on Sunday. The search area is approximately 10 and a half square kilometres, just off the coast in the Black Sea. Several bodies have been recovered, but officials believe most are probably trapped inside the remains of the aircraft. The team is currently carrying out a search using sonar that allows us to see the ocean floor as well as objects at the bottom. We also have 820 rescue workers who are visually scanning the surface of the water. Several fragments of the plane, including fuselage and tail parts, have been found, and Russian media say a black box found on Tuesday morning, which could hold key information, will be sent to Moscow for investigation. All found parts have been brought ashore and handed over to the investigators. The search operation in the area of the plane crash has gone on for 24 hours with no breaks. During the day, one more body was found and recovered. On Monday, a national day of mourning was declared. Church services have been held across Russia, and in Moscow, a shrine has been set up, which grows bigger by the hour. The Russian government has said terrorism is not thought to be the likely cause of the crash, and the focus is on pilot error or technical fault. But for the families of the 92 victims, which include journalists, a doctor and dozens of musicians from the Alexandrov Ensemble, no explanation will bring their loved ones home. Sophia Tran-Thompson, BBC News. And we can take you live to Sochi now, where there is a memorial you can see growing uh, on the dock in Sochi uh, for the victims of that Russian plane crash in the Black Sea. These live pictures, you can see the flowers being laid in quite a large number there uh, for those victims of that crash. 92 victims, 11 bodies found so far, and the black box flight data recorder has been found too.